Hey there ladies and gentlemen and welcome back. I'm your host Pat Sun and today we're gonna be taking a look at r slash relationship advice where OP is now second guessing everything. Let's begin. My girlfriend of a few years dropped some information on me when I proposed. How should I process this? Posted by Reddit user Happy Tradition. Hello, I need to vent and get some opinions on this matter. Me and my partner Jane have been happily together for a few years by now. But initially how our relationship started seemed to have been a little bit reckless, looking back now. We met a few years before we started dating. We were both attending a group activity and hobby, we became quick friends. We shared a lot in common, our values aligned, and we loved to hang out and talk about things. That being said, she was in a committed long-term relationship, so nothing ever happened between us at that time other than friendship. There may have been some attraction, but it never got past that. Eventually, I also entered a relationship with another woman for two years and broke it off eventually, since we just didn't seem to be a match for long term. Jane also ended her relationship a month or two after I got out of mine. Jane was from my point of view, was in a bad and toxic relationship. Her boyfriend had a lot of jealousy issues. Any male friends she talked to was a potential problem. He was a workaholic and expected his partner to be the same. Didn't make time for any family events like birthdays, them arguing was a normal part of everyday conversation, etc. Jane felt free after she broke up with him and wanted to be single for a while, that's where the reckless thing I mentioned happened. We reconnected as friends and as single people this time, we grew close very fast. I think we both felt like the universe was aligning since we both ended relationships just to end up talking again. So we well, hung out, a lot, dates, kisses, intimacy, all of it, TT was lovely. Nothing close to what I felt in my previous relationship and she said the same. The reckless part was that this was going really fast, she wanted to be single for a while, and only after two months we hit it off. Her previous relationship lasted for half a decade. We both knew it was too soon, but we couldn't help ourselves. Fast forward to the present, I love her and want to spend the rest of my life with her, it's why I proposed. I don't take marriage lightly at all, it's a huge deal to me. But how could I not want to, if we just seem to work well together? We share humor, memories, and friends, we do a lot of things together. We trust each other 100% and I wanted to make trust the core pillar of this relationship. That doesn't mean you have to share everything. It's about leaning on your partner when you need to and communicating your wants and needs, since she didn't have that in her previous relationship. Yeah, I ended up proposing. Then she dropped some information on me that I did not expect at all. In a million years I wouldn't expect it. Jane said that at the early part of our relationship, she kissed her roommate Richard where alcohol was involved at a bar. The kiss was initiated by him. He was constantly showering her with nice words and wanted to kiss her and she kept saying no, until eventually she didn't. When they both got home, she locked the door and didn't let Richard in when he wanted to. The kiss happened two more times in the next two days, where it was pretty much the same, but no alcohol involved. He initiated and kept going for it. It never got past kissing and maybe some body caressing. He wanted to fuck her, but that was a line she didn't want to cross. We were together for one year at that point. We were long distancing as she was abroad for a semester. She was crying and hyperventilating as she was sharing this information. She said she couldn't live with herself if she didn't tell me this before accepting the ring. She was visibly sick and nauseous. She never gaslighted me or anything, said it was a horrible mistake and would take it back if she could. I believe her. The issue I have is just I have no idea how to process this. This was like, four years ago. Why didn't she tell me this right away? I feel like all the work we've done as a couple and all the memories we created since then are tainted in some way. I'm thankful that it never got past kissing, but that's still cheating right. I'm glad that it was her telling me this information instead of me somehow finding this out. I asked how did you manage to keep this guilt for so long, and she said she was scared that I would end the relationship. When I asked what was she thinking at the time when the kisses happened, she couldn't really give a definitive answer. She said it felt nice to feel physically wanted, as we were long distance then. She also mentioned this freedom part that she never really got to experience after her previous relationship ended. I have to point out that she didn't blame me at all. Her words are that this is a horrible mistake, it was her fault for crossing the line and she would understand if I don't love her anymore after this. Her physical state when sharing this information would confirm this. I don't know if this is my logic or heart telling me that this is something I can or want to forgive. When I decided I would propose, I solidified my want to be with her for the rest of my life. Now that I heard this information, I'm second guessing everything. 
What steps should I take to process this information in a healthy manner? We talked about going to couples therapy and work through this. TLDR. When I proposed, my girlfriend told me she kissed another man on three occasions during the early parts of our relationship when we were on long distance. I think I want to forgive her and move on, strictly based on the facts that she told me this of her own volition. I believe she truly regrets it. The motivation for her to do this might have been impacted by how we started our relationship. Edit. I want to address some points I keep seeing here in the post. Yes, we were exclusive, otherwise this wouldn't really be an issue. This incident happened a week before she moved back home. He kept writing to her after she left to wanting to see her again. She ended up blocking him because he wouldn't stop writing. We have been living together for the past three years and I'm pretty sure that nothing happened since then because it logically wouldn't add up. <laughs> we have had a pretty transparent life, and we know everything that happens in our lives because that's how our relationship worked thus far. When she was explaining the situation to me, she put blame only on herself. She's also quite possibly one of the worst actors I've ever known, which makes me feel like it wasn't manipulative in how she talked about Richard. Meaning he really was pushy, to the point that some commenters have mentioned sexual harassment or worse. They have had zero contact since then because she blocked him and they both lie very very far away. We're here in Europe and he moved back to Syria. Of course the ring is off the table. She gave me back the ring as we both agreed that this is not gonna happen now or ever at all. I'm not really questioning if I should marry her. As I said in my post, I'm very serious when it comes to marriage. I do not believe marrying or having a child will magically fix a relationship either. Marrying someone in my opinion is the result of two people working hard to make a relationship work and worth fighting for to the point you bet your whole life the work paid off. I'm questioning if it's worth it to pursue rebuilding the trust, as the last few years have been really great. Edit 2. Another clarification, I know her ex. The info I dumped about her ex is not just her viewpoint. It's a matter I discussed with her friends and things I have seen, since we were also friends beforehand. I truly believe that relationship was bad for both of them, and they both took on some issues moving forward. Edit 3. I am taking the sexual assault comments seriously. I will also clarify a few things regarding the two more times the kiss happened. The second kiss happened when they decided to watch a movie together, that's also the first time the body caressing happened. It was mentioned to me that when she felt like things were getting too heated up, she left to her room and ended it there. The third kiss happened when she went to his room to say goodbye as she was leaving that day to go back home, and the repeat of second kiss happened. I understand Richard is a dick, it's why I gave him this name. Look man, they cuddled the second time it happened, and if that's true, then are you seriously believing that nothing else happened that night, and on the third time, she came into his room, then smooched him to say goodbye, seriously. Dude, cheaters only confess the things that they know they can get away with. She hid this fact from you for years and you had no idea. So how the hell can you even say confidently that this was the only time? OP, I think her ex was possessive because of this very reason. She was in a relationship with him and she formed a mutual attraction with you. When they broke up, she got together with you. Now, she confessed to consensually kissing another man while in an exclusive relationship with you. Do you not see a pattern here, OP? Viewer support is the best way for me to remain independent and continue bringing you these daily videos, which will always be here on my channels for you to watch absolutely free. So please consider subscribing to me on Rumble and on YouTube. Both will be linked in the description box down below. Thanks for listening everyone. If you even somewhat enjoyed today's story, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and if you really like it, consider subscribing to Pat's Hunt to never miss a future upload. Stay strong.